Well, before we get into the, the message today, I wanted to just take a, this opportunity and share uh, a story. Uh, well, not a story, but a, an answer, a miracle, really, that God did recently at my work. Um, so I work at a software company, and um, on Tuesdays at noon, we have a, a prayer meeting. And uh, we pray and ask God to answer all kinds of prayers. And, and you know, uh, God's been, uh, for us here at Discipleship International, God has answered so many prayers this, uh, through the beginning of this year. It's amazing. You know, to me, it's, it's a privilege to, gump, to come to God. You know, we're not uh, here uh, going through some... Uh, traditions of man, not some philosophy, but, but there is a living God who we are worshiping, the creator of heaven and earth. He has the power to do things, to change not only our hearts, but our physical lives. So there's a, a young man at our work. His name is uh, Ben Elsrode. He works on one of our uh, implementation teams and since 2000, 2005, when he was, uh, well, a younger man, <laughs> he developed uh, Crohn's disease. So if you know anything about Crohn's disease, it is a, it's a disease of, of the bowels. And it, it's like the, the bowel starts eating itself. And, um, and it can be very debilitating. He was in the hospital uh, four times uh, over the years. One time uh, he needed surgery. Um, one of the things about Crohn's disease is that it's, there is no cure for it. Uh, basically, people just take medication. That's all that they can do. Otherwise, it's quite debilitating, pain. Uh, at any rate, uh, this guy, Ben, um, he had, you know, for a long time, he had, he had kind of given up. He had prayed that God would heal him early on. And, and over the years, nothing was happening. So he was kind of, he had like given up. And, uh, but then a year ago, he went to a, a conference and it was, it was about God's healing today. And, um, and it was, uh, partially a uh, time of learning to pray. And then uh, he started sometime this last year, also started coming to the prayer meeting. And as you know, here, God has been showing us a lot about God's power to heal and the authority that he's given to his children to pray and experience physical healing in miraculous ways. And we've seen here, you've heard some of the testimonies of just amazing miracles. Kids that were, the doctors said were going to die. God healed and brought them back to life. Women who had been bleeding and the doctor said, you need a hysterectomy. But they were healed completely and took away all of the problem. No hysterectomy needed. Uh, we've seen people with cancer, tumors on x-rays. They were gone. So this, uh, this guy, uh, Ben, as we were praying, you know, he, was, he began to be more encouraged to pray. So we were praying together in our prayer meeting, and he was praying in... January, around middle of January here, he went in uh, had for a colonoscopy. You know, they do the exam to check out what's going on. And during that, they said, there's nothing there. You don't have any signs of Crohn's disease. So they took some biopsies also. And it came back negative. Zero Crohn's disease, zero anything. 
And he came back just this last week. He heard about it. He said, I got a miracle. We were in the middle of our company kickoff. Um, and that was just a humongous answer to prayer. So I just wanted to say thank you, Jesus, for doing what is impossible, impossible with man. Impossible. Doctors don't have a solution for that. But, but God is still alive. Jesus is on his throne, and he heals and answers. So thank you, Jesus. So 